After Effects is an easy peasy and I'm gonna prove it now. Hey, Apostolos Rusas here, instructor of the Animation for Designers course. Today we're gonna take a quick tour inside After Effects. And you realize that animation is not that creepy monster inside the closet. We are going to start with some basics. This is how it looks when you start After Effects. On the left side is the project panel where we can drag and drop any type of media file. I will import two files, one video footage and one illustrator. Because I love to keep things organized, I always suggest creating folder based on the media file format. So I will click the folder icon twice to create two different folders. I will name them and drag the media into them. Now let's create a composition. The composition is like the artboard on Illustrator, it's our canvas. I'm gonna create one by clicking this icon here. It requests to adjust some settings. But first of all, we have to name it. Then, to set up the resolution. If you are working on something for YouTube, go for the Full HD. For Instagram posts, choose the square resolution. And for Instagram stories, go with the portrait. All these formats work for almost any social media platform. The duration doesn't matter because we can adjust it at any time. I will go with 20 seconds for now. Click OK and it's gonna appear inside the project panel like everything on After Effects. The composition will look like this or this. This is happening because it is empty. So let's add something inside. I will drag and drop the feed of footage inside the timeline and it's gonna appear as a layer. The timeline works similar to the layer panels of Photoshop and Illustrator. So let's add one more asset and this time I will drop it into the composition screen. Yes, you can also add things in that way. It will appear another layer on the timeline. This time is the logo that we added. If I drag the logo under the footage, it will disappear like a regular layer panel. Let's bring it back for now. If you want to preview the timeline, just press the space bar on the keyboard. Maybe this will not play back in real time, so we will set an auto preview resolution to work faster. This is just for the preview and not the final export. Now it's time to create an animation. If you click on the arrow next to the layer and then next to the transform, it will reveal some properties. Also, you can reveal them one by one with simple shortcuts. With the layer selected, press P for position, S for scale, R for rotation and T for opacity. Now, if you press shift and one of the shortcuts, it will keep the previous one. Let's try it. For this one, we need rotation, so I will press R and position, so I will hold shift and press P. Now we have them both. To change the position of a layer, you can do it by clicking on the selection tool here and drag it wherever you want. Or by adjusting the values of the position. Also, you can change the size by dragging these points. I'm gonna move the logo somewhere here on the right bottom of the screen. For this one, we need to create a slide animation from right to left, something like this. I'm gonna use the edges of the screen to hide the logo and then reveal it. We need to tell After Effects that. How? With keyframes. So I'm gonna move forward 2 seconds on the timeline and I'm gonna click on this stopwatch. A keyframe has been created and this icon proves that. Now we need to set another keyframe for the first position outside of the screen. I will go back at 0 second and move the logo by holding the shift until it disappears. The shift key holds the position in the line of the movement without going up and down. After Effects creates another keyframe at the new position 
and if you press spacebar, you can preview your first animation, and it's the best animation ever made. But because there is always room for improvement, let's make it better. In the real world, things accelerate and decelerate, and we can make this easily inside After Effects. I will highlight the keyframes, right click on them, go Keyframe Assistant, and then Easy Ease. But the day has only 24 hours, and we can spend it on more productive things. For that, we can go with the favorite shortcut of every animator out there, the F9. If you press F9, the keyframes icon will change. Let's press space for preview and the animation is much smoother. We can make this animation way more interesting by adjusting the easings. If we highlight the keyframes again and click on the graph editor, it will reveal the speed curve of the layer. It's easy to understand it. At this point, the object is not moving because the curve is at zero. Going forward, it starts to accelerate until this time and then decelerates until it stops. So let's try something. I need the acceleration to start sooner and then smoothly slow down. I will grab the second point and drag it on the left. Now the curve changes with the top points more on the left side. This means that the speed up will start sooner. Spacebar for preview and the animation is really more interesting. We can adjust the duration of the movement by changing the space between the two keyframes. If you move it closer, it will be faster. If you move it further away, it's gonna be slower. Now, I need to do the same animation for the rotation. Now, let's create and animate a text. In the top toolbar, you can find a text icon. Also, shape layers to create simple things, a pen tool to draw lines, a zoom tool, but I prefer to use the control or command plus and minus shortcut, and the hand tool to move around the composition. Let's pick the text tool and type something. On the right, we have a group of panels like the effect and presets, the character, the align, and more. You can hide and hide them from the window menu. Now, if we go to the character panel with the layer selected, we can adjust size, tracking, colors, and more. But I need to make the text more readable. For that, we can add something behind it. We're gonna pick the shape layer tool and create a simple box and place it under the text in layers order. Now we can also adjust the position by using the arrows on the keyboard. We can create a custom animation, but I'm going to use the presets of After Effects for this one. Let's start with the text. I'm gonna select the text and go on the effects panel, animation presets, presets, text, animation in, because we need to create a reveal and I'm gonna choose the typewriter by drag it into the layer or we can go with a simple double click. Now something cool, if you press U with a layer selected, it will reveal only the properties with the keyframes. I need this to be faster, so as we said, I'm gonna move it closer to the first one. Now we can create the same animation for the shape. I will go again on the effects panel and this time I'm gonna search for the wipe transition. Like before, I will drag it into the shape layer. Now I'm gonna create this animation smoother with the F9 and make an adjustment to the speed. It will be better for this lower third to show up after the logo. To do that, I will select both layers and move them forward on the timeline. 
now the text and the shape enter the screen in a second time because the in point of the layers starts after the video footage and the logo. To export this amazing animation with the composition selected, go Composition and click on Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. It's gonna run another software where we can adjust the export settings. The most common format for the internet is the MP4. For that, choose the H264. Then hit OK and then the green play button and your video will be ready in a couple of seconds. That's all guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to check our course, I explain step by step how to become a professional animator and I share some really cool tips. This was Apostolos and until next time stay creative and welcome to the future.